I think we noticed even before uh, 2020, because that changed everything in our business for a couple of years. I mean, we were a live event, a seminar-based business. We had to pivot to virtual. Um, and then in 2021, there was the Apple iOS update, which threw off Facebook targeting. So our primary source of advertising dried up and we had built up this uh, momentum of an organization, right? Where, you know, we're, we're a real company. We've got <laughs> 20 to 30 employees and cash flow. But even before that happened, I, I feel like we could have sensed that there was a, it was almost like the business started having a, 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 a momentum or direction of its own. And it was moving in a direction that really wasn't in alignment with where we wanted to go next. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how aware of it we were. Like we were aware of the tension, but we, we kept doing the same things. Yeah, I think um, when, so, so you share already that we first did a program for uh, sobriety to prosperity, yep. right? And then we're like, okay, this is not going to work. We need to change our ideal client and we create a manifest and then we realize that maybe working with people that were more like us that we could make uh, a difference and we ended up kind of like settling on helping entrepreneurs yes and we we knew and we we know we have known this now for since we became aware of personal development and how it impacts our lives that mindset is the key to everything even to a uh, to a thriving business but we were also so good at business that somehow we created this program where we were not only offering and supporting people with their mindset but then we were also sharing all of the strategies that worked for us and we were so excited yeah that we built a great business curriculum we, we have an amazing we still do have an amazing business curriculum and it it it, it, it actually uh, create results for our clients um, and I do recall several times where you and I will have conversations and we go but we're leaning too much into the business because yeah. somehow the questions in the group calls or whenever we were meeting with our tribe there were questions about business but we knew like kind of like you can you can read between the lines that the issue was not that they were not selecting the right ideal client or they didn't have the right messaging or the right product. It was deeper than that. And it was something in their mindset that was keeping them in stock. So we saw this throughout the years. Uh, but I think that because the business was giving us the results, what we humans often do is like, oh, if it's working, if it's ain't broken, don't, don't change it, right? So it was working the business angle was selling so we kept pushing leading that with business leading, leading with business and we had conversations like yeah but what about mindset we're kind of like walking away a little bit from mindset but it was just like this underlining uh conversation yeah it, it is um you know our, our vision has always been to bring next level transformation to millions and millions and millions of people but oftentimes in our lives, we think, well, yeah, I'll do that once I get this other thing done, yeah. right? One, once once I, can, I can get my business coaching program selling again, or once I can get up to a $5 million or $10 million company and I can hire the resources, then I'll make the pivot to go do the thing that I'm really passionate about. Yeah. Um, you know, once I, w once I um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll spend more time with the kids once I get these other pieces of my life under control. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we get it backwards because actually if you go and you get the foundational things done, if you follow your vision, then, you know, the miraculous things happen to organize those other pieces in your life that you're trying to control. And we, in, in 2021, when our Facebook ads stopped performing, it was November 2021. And I said to you, I said, no, this is now, this is the sign, right? Like we've been talking about it. I've been saying, I want to launch the podcast. We want to get the information and the philosophy and the frameworks out to as many people as possible through YouTube and through social media. We need to develop some product lines so that you don't have to be an entrepreneur. You can be whatever. You could be a business owner. You could be a, a professional working somewhere. You could be a stay-at-home mom. You could be a college student, but you can access the transformational teachings. I said, we have to go do this. And you agreed with me at that time. 
but I panicked. Yeah, I know. I did too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I knew that that's what we actually were meant to do. Uh, and again, it's just so difficult when you have something that has worked that you have like track record that it works to kind of like stop, look at it and say, maybe it's not meant to work anymore, or maybe it's not working anymore. Let me see what other possibilities I have in front of us. We humans get too comfortable with what is known, even if it's not working. Because my response to that, I mean, I'm, I'm probably the, the, the reason why this podcast uh, didn't come into existence in the last three, like you've been pushing it for almost four years, is because for me, a podcast was not a priority. The priority was to create more content for our business curriculum because that was bringing the revenue. So we, we, we knew in 2021, you actually, you push harder, like we need to, um, reinvent ourselves. Let's launch the podcast. We need to bring mindset to people because this is what people are needing. Well, especially now with everything going on in the world, right? Yeah. It's and at the same time, but I was responding with what has gotten me to where I was at that point. It's like, no, we keep pushing. We keep trying harder. So I, I remember about then I was working probably like 60, 80 hours a week. And I'm like, if I have to work more, I will, but I am going to make this work. That was my mentality. I will not give up. I will make it work. And that was my beginning of bringing myself to a point of breakdown. Yeah, we spent uh, almost 16 months from that point in time trying to get our online advertising back working again. We, we, we tried the, uh, the free Facebook group strategy, running, running ads into there. Um, and there were a lot of signs that we it, had so it, it many wasn't the direction to be moving in. We were, we were, we were hiring and firing a lot of salespeople mm -hmm. and appointment setters and uh, director of sales. And then, director we, of operations. then we found another agency later in the year who said, oh, no, you can go back and do the things you were doing before. Just the previous agency you were working with hadn't implemented it the right way. And, and all of a sudden we were in April of 2023 and we were headed to India. And, um, and, and back in the, no, back in that November of 2021, I remember you said, no, we, we have to figure out how to get our, our business and mindset coaching program selling again. Otherwise we're not going to have the revenue to, you know, be yep. around a year and a half from now. We're not going to be able to, you know, have enough people at the powerful living experience, uh, to, to drive the business forward and to make the impact and have the type of event that we want to have. Uh, and so here we were a year and a half later and we were going to India with 50 people from our legendary program, um, and something happened in, in the business that sort of, you know, sparked this conversation between you and I, where I said, hey, you realize, like, we never got it to work again since November of 2021, but here we still are. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and we needed 2022 to happen. And this is where it's really interesting, because I don't think we could have done it any differently. I think the principles that we're talking about are important. Hey, start to become aware of when you're feeling out of alignment and create some space to take a look at it. Hey, there's going to be a time in your life or in your business growth where the thing that's been working isn't the thing that's going to get you to the next level and you're going to be afraid to let it go, but you have to let it go to create the space for something new to come in. Because 2022 was pivotal. Mm -hmm. you, you, you were pregnant with, with Gabriel uh, and I think it was around, it was around March of 2022. We had tried to hire several director of operations to take over for you. And we were unsuccessful at that. I was having health, some health challenges, nothing serious, but it was really bogging me down. You were very tense because you had made this unconscious decision that you needed to replace yourself before the baby was going to be born. Cause he was, he was coming up in August and, uh, and we were living in a temporary place because we were remodeling the home we had purchased in Puerto Rico. And, um, and I, I came home one day, I think after an argument that we had, I went for a walk and I just could not shake the tension. And I've shared this in another episode, uh, but I basically had a nervous breakdown. I, I, um, I got, I took a cold shower. I, I started yelling. We had done enough somatic release work that I knew that I needed to like emote. I needed to make noises to, to move the tension through and out of my body. Um, and, and as a result of that breakdown that night, um, I, I got back into my 12 step program 
And I was working the 12 steps, not around my alcohol or my drug addiction or pornography addiction, but around worry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started to see things in the steps technology that were just incredible. And I started studying Louise Hay's work a little bit more around self-love and self-esteem and our ability to heal the body. And I actually went back into my own work and the mind hack program and the power of decision mm -hmm. and the yeah. two states of being and, and, and the body of work that was coming through me had been, had been expanding. And what I realized was that um, this was the process of, of contraction, right? Just like we see in the birth process that was preceding the next expansion. Mm -hmm. And as I came through the other side of that over a very, very difficult, you know, three or four months in the, in the middle of 2022, that gave birth to the whole human framework, mm -hmm. which, which is the transformational program that we, we were meant to bring to millions of people that didn't exist back in November of 2021. That's why I'm saying like, you, you know, it's, it, I think it so, to happen yeah, so, way. so often we judge what we've done because we can look backwards and go, oh, well, if I had known then what I knew now, and it's like, yeah, but you didn't know then what you now know. You had to go through that segment of the hero's journey where there's this contraction and these emotions that don't feel good, that if you have the tools to allow them to work through your system, ex create this expansion and bring you the new ideas and change your perspective and get all the cooperative components and synchronicities and coincidences working because it was through that breakdown in the beginning of 2022 that the whole human framework was born mm -hmm. and that I actually discovered my core program, which is worry and learned how to surrender my core program. And at the same time, you were going through your own contraction. So we were really in this birthing process, not only of you actually giving birth to Gabriel, over during that period of time, but of us rebirthing the business. Our, and ourselves. Yeah, and, and, it's, imp us, and yeah. it's important to understand because I think we all go through these, these rebirthing processes. It's not a thing that happens once. You get to a point where the vision that you had has become achieved, and then there's an, another contraction. And as you work through those contractions, which, I mean, listen, I'm not going to pretend I'm speaking from experience because I only witnessed you in labor. So I'm not going to be one of those men who tries to pretend like I know what that's like because I, I don't and I never will. But I saw the discomfort of the contractions. Mm -hmm. and, and, that was, and that is a natural part of the process. But we want to avoid, like, you know, because we don't understand that this is what's happening, we want to kill the contraction. We want to end the contraction. We want to medicate the contraction. We want to avoid the contraction. But if you really want to, to move into this next level of creation. vision that you of creation or wealth or health or purpose or whatever it is, there, there ain't a way to circumvent it. Mm -hmm. And so we, we experience that. And in that process, we, we learn so much of what we're teaching people now around how to, how to, how to work with life, how to have faith, how to not hustle and grind, how to create space, how to do these things that we hear about, but we've never really understood how, like allow and surrender. Hey, it's David. Hop on over to davidbear.com. Click right here. There's also a link in the show notes and sign up for our newsletter. You'll get immediate access to my free MindHack ebook as well. A couple of trainings to help you master the inner game. This is a great way to stay informed and be a part of our community and be notified of special announcements. Click below, head on over to the website, get subscribed. If you loved this video, make sure you check out this one or this one, and I will see you in the next video.